Alright, so... It's a tradition at this point. Every October, we play a brand new Castlevania game. And since we beat Dawn of Sorrow last year, we're going to play uh, Portrait of Ruin this year, which is the next game in the uh, DS Castlevania trilogy, I guess you could say. I just find it really weird that they started off the next trilogy with a sequel to Aria of Sorrow, which is the final game in the GBA trilogy. Which is very strange, actually. I don't know why they did that, but... Whatever, I ain't complaining. It's, it's cool. Now, you thought Dawn of Sorrow was anime as hell? This game, it just, gives, it just goes even harder with the anime style. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't really have a problem with the anime style of, um, I guess you could say modern Castlevania. I don't know what else you want to call it. Also, I'm using the wrong background, I just realized. I'm still using the frickin' Paper Mario background. Hold on, hold on, I can fix that. I mean, it's not like you guys even see the background much, but whatever. Just, uh, there we go, better. Also, should I put the chat here? I'll put the chat right here. Like, right below my face cam. Above the bottom screen. At least I think that's the bottom screen. Yeah. Also, is the... Is the screen capturing now? No, it's not. It's not capturing the screen now. That's weird. It only captures when I'm not... When I'm windowed. That's fucking weird. I've, I actually have this problem. Like, I, I tried, I'm trying to full screen the game, but it doesn't like when I full screen it for some reason. Maybe I have to do Windows 10. Let me try that out real quick. Okay, so we fixed my uh, setup. It's fine now. Uh, really doesn't want me to play the game full screened, because when I full screen it, it just fucks up and I can't capture it for some reason. I can't capture two of the same screen. But anyways, uh, this is Portrait of Ruin. Uh, I don't know anything about this game, nor the seat, nor the next game in the series, uh, Order of Ecclesia. I don't know anything about those two games. So, uh, going in completely blind. And also, a uh, funny thing, uh, Gnarly did a video on this game like a few days ago, and I'm like, wow, he's playing the game that I'm about to do a series on. Go figure. I mean, he's done a lot of those uh, Castlevania challenge videos, and when I finally finish all these frickin' DS Castlevania games, I can finally watch all those. Actually, I might watch one of them. I think he did a video on Dawn of Sorrow. I don't remember if I watched that or not, but we'll see. And look at that, you get a whopping six save files. It's pretty crazy. Also, I have a fun feature that I could take advantage of for the stream, where I can press L3, and it swaps the screens... I actually don't know which one's meant to be the top screen and which one's meant to be the bottom screen. So whatever screen has the most most interesting shit going on, I'll just switch to that screen, basically. So, yeah. Oh, and now, now the music decides to kick in. Okay. Oh, this does sound like something that would be in Dawn of Sorrow. Alright, so we got, uh, you know, the classic, the classic moonness. I don't remember when I started the whole Moonus thing, honestly. It's just kind of a thing. BS. Oh, use the stylus to draw. Okay, something tells me that the bottom screen is meant- th Something tells me this is meant to be the bottom screen. <laughs> Does that mean I can draw? Oh, I can. Well, shit. Let me get rid of that. I, I didn't know I was gonna have an emblem. Um, oh yeah, like, didn't you- wasn't there an emblem in, um... Didn't I have an emblem in Dawn of Sorrow as well? I don't know. Let me think of a funny- let me think of a funny meme. Let me look through my funny meme folder. Oh, no shit, I know what to draw. Hold on, give me a sec. <laughs> let me up, open up good old, uh... My good old photo viewer. <laughs> Alright, here, I got an idea.
Let's get, uh... Let's get, like, yellow. Oh, this is really awkward. If you know- if you guys know, you know. Also, I need to close some file explorer windows. We don't need this many open. I just freed up some space because I was at like 98 gigs earlier. Look at that, back up to 384, perfect. And I am uploading some videos right now, so that's pretty foony. Is there no paint bucket tool? Dang, that's too bad. Let's have let's have a little fun with this. All right. See, thank God I have I have a mouse where I can like lower the uh, mouse speed at will. It was that was like pretty essential in um, Bowser's Inside Story. <laughs> Remember when I played that? Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, I'm just filling all the pixels. I mean, to be fair, Mario Kart DS also has a feature like this. Okay, that looks decent so far. <laughs> oh. Can I only do one color? I guess I can only do one color. <laughs> My mouse is pretty dog shit though, honestly. There's like this one really gross pixel right here I want to get rid of. I'm gonna spend more time actually like doing this than playing the damn game. This, is it. this looks this looks pretty funny so far. Actually, looks a little more like this. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. We're gonna we're gonna have smug Pac-Man here. It's coming along pretty good, I'd say. There you go. There's a. Uh... There's Smug Pac-Man for you. I think you can only draw in one color, yeah. Alright. There you go, Smug Pac-Man. Perfect. That's my emblem. 1944. The world is in chaos. The Second World War has claimed millions of lives, leveled cities, destroyed nations, the souls of the war's dead blanket. The planet lost, hurt and angry. Their anguish summons in a cursed castle of legend. It's appeared many times through history, bringing it with evil and darkness. The castle of Dracula, the lord of evil. It arrives in man's darkest hour to push us over the brink into ruin. Ah, they dropped the root, the name ruin already. Roll credits. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, I was trying to sing, uh... I was trying to sing, um... What you call it? Does all the good, does all the good shit happen on this screen? I guess so. 
Oh, anyways, here's our uh, here's our titular cast of characters. That whip. There's no mistaking it. You're Jonathan Morris. Good eye. And you are? Ah, uh, forgive me. I'm Vincent Doran. By order of the church, I've been awaiting you. To think that master of legendary vampire killer would come here. A blessing indeed. So they so they dropped they, they kind of just dropped a timeline for this game already. So 1944, which is pretty recent in the Castlevania timeline. I mean, not as recent as Dawn of Sorrow, which I think is like 2012 or something like that. 2030, I don't remember. I just know it's in the 2000s, which is, means it's like the most recent Castlevania game chronologically. Too bad he can't actually use it. Charlotte, can you even pretend to play along for once? Well, that's the truth, isn't it? You can't lie to a priest. What? Are you suggesting that whip is a fake, then? It's true. I can't use the vampire killer. This whip hasn't actually passed down through my family. You've heard of the Belmont family, haven't you? Why, of course I have. They've used that whip for generations to destroy Dracula. And that family is related to the Morris family by blood. Doing your research, huh? Unfortunately, the fact is, we're not the true successors. No problem, though. I've won every battle till now without the whip. Not one loss. Lucky you have me to help you. Yes, I was wondering about that. And you are? Well, excuse me. If you're from this church, then remember this. I'm Charlotte Holland. Hmm, Charlotte. I've heard that name before. Uh, Charlotte. Oh, you must be the great magician everyone's been talking about. Ha, <laughs> great, you say? Believable. To think that she was a mere child. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, such a lovely young lady. You heard that, Jonathan? He called me lovely. So anyway, Vincent, you had some business with me? Oh, yes, yes, I do. I've been ordered to assist you in your quest. I brought potions with me, but well... Well what? Uh, it's a matter of economics. You want us to pay you, right? Uh, yes, well, if you assist. Sure, no problem. I think we could take care of that. I couldn't care less. But more importantly, the castle. Is that really Dracula's castle? Mm, no one's seen Dracula thus far. However, the church insists that it's indeed Dracula's castle. No doubt about it. This castle's pulsing with dark magical power. I can't imagine it's anything but the castle of Lord Dracula that I study in the books. Sounds like fun. Come on, better get going then, Charlotte. Right with you. Uh, be careful. I'll search for a safe place. I'll meet you inside. Godspeed. So it looks like we got a shop already. Wow, that was fast. That didn't take very long. Alright, let me just get a... Uh... Yeah, I can't use the whip my ass. He totally can. Bro has a very floaty jump. Very floaty. Alright, so... Let's see. Okay, so good. The bottom screen is actually the map. That's that's what I like to see. Uh, change your weapons and armor. Ah, casual clothes. So... Can you, uh, how do you switch characters? Is that something I have to do? Potion, high tonic, recover a lot of MP. So she, I'm guessing Charlotte's the magic user, and then Jonathan's like the raw power guy. Change control and sounds. Okay. Um, attack with Y. Call partner with A. Jump with B. Change player with X. Hmm. Okay, so that's how you do it. Talk to your partner. If something's troubling you, it's important that we talk. I can handle things myself. I prefer it that way. Let's just both do our best. Wow, how lovely. I have someone to talk to throughout my adventure. Oh, oh yeah, relics. I love me some good relics. Guides. Oh, okay, that's the that's the bestiary. Okay. And uh, you can look at the map. Cool. <laughs> Alright, so it is a bit weird because I have, um, 
a touch screen on top, <laughs> which is what you guys are seeing right now. So I have to, you know, drag my mouse all the way to the frickin' top, which is really weird. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, let's so see. So, it doesn't look like I can change characters yet, but that'll probably happen eventually. Ooh, already, a, already some vibes. Wait, what, what did I just pick up? Is that, is that an item, or what? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I gained the ability to switch characters. That's great. Call partner with A. Press again to send partner away. Oh. So you can have your partner out with you? That's pretty cool. And then you can switch. But I'm guessing, um... Hmm. Let me see how this works. So obviously if you have your partner out, they take damage for you, right? Wait, he just- she just punches with the book? <laughs> Oh, that is very pitiful. <laughs> oh! But, you know, he also can attack. So he's kind of like a familiar. Tome of Arms. No, an encyclopedic of weaponry. Oh yeah, so I believe, um... I believe the gnarly video was based on this book right here, the default weapon for Charlotte. And it was like, can you beat Portrait of Ruin with just the encyclopedia? Okay, there we go. Cool. Now we have a sword. And a short sword. Oh, well, I can tell we're gonna be, uh... Oh, he can equip a sword. You don't even have to stick with a vampire killer. You can just switch to swords. That's funny. Why don't we use the Vampire Killer for, like, not very long? <laughs> Ooh, we got save points. Hell yeah. So you guys might be wondering, why am I not playing this game on the, uh, the recent, uh, Castlevania, like, the new Castlevania collection that came out? And the simple reasoning for that is just because, you know, one, I, I don't have it, and two, um, I'm feeling a little nostalgic, and uh, I kind of just want to play it on the, uh, you know, the OG hardware, because I heard the, um, the collection, like, kind of removed some of the touchscreen functionality, which, you know, it's kind of the whole point of these games, you know? Can I, can I break this stuff? Ooh! Okay, cool. Kind of just going all over the place. Uh-oh, we got a boss. At least I'm assuming it's a boss. Also, I think I have the resolution too high. Hold on a sec. So if you have the resolution too high, um, you start to get these weird, like, seams in the environment. Like, you see, you see that? Beef jerky. Oh, he gone. Okay. Yeah, so I think the max resolution I can play this game on is, uh, two times native. Yeah. Do these worms hurt me? No, they don't. So if you play anything, if you play any higher than two times native, you get those weird seams in the environment. But hey, I mean, playing at double the resolutions better than nothing, am I right? Oh, I can't go up there. At least not yet. Hmm. I'll assume we'll have, we'll come back there later. Oh, now there's skeletons here. How fun. 
It is funny that I'm playing this, you know, the, the night before me and Jose are eventually going to play, um, uh, Silent Hill 2. Okay, so it turns out the AI is not very smart. <laughs> how do you check, how do you check, like, each of their HP? Hmm. I don't know. Well, it said he took, like, 10 HP of damage, though. Ooh, what's that? A throwing knife consumes... Con uh, press up and Y to use. I think that's, um... I think that's exclusively for him, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's cool. We got sub-weapons now. It's just, I'm probably going to play Charlotte more because, you know, her playstyle is more unique than, you know, just another, you know, vampire hunter wielder slash uh, Soma Cruz. Okay, can't get up there yet. And I don't even know what the hell is going on with um, Order of Ecclesia, but you play as a, you play as a lady there too, and I don't remember what she does. We got bones! Hey, D-Man! I'm back for blood! You know, I have no blood. Call partner with down and A to have partner stand still on an object. Um, I don't think I did that correctly. And now I can't, now I can't go back. How do I do that again? Oh, you can destroy it if you fuck up. Well, good. That's smart. Stay. Okay, there we go. So this game leads heavily into the whole, um, like, partner mechanic, which is pretty neat. I mean, they, they need one way to keep things interesting. Fire burst of flame. Cool. So, let me look at my stuff. So, that's your magic. I love that sub weapons are just like equipables now. Although, it is going to get kind of tough um, managing different menus for each character. Also, we have, uh... Look at all these freaking accessory slots we can use. That's pretty crazy. Okay, so... Looks like Charlotte has a, a sub-weapon now. Oh yeah, that is pretty good. Damn, I'm getting my ass kicked as well. Hold on. How am I doing? Uh, lost like half my health. They're probably gonna bombard you with enemies more often. <laughs> because, uh, you know, the whole partner mechanic, obviously. Hmm. We can go left, or we can go up. We can get, uh, Edgard. Oh. So I think, um... It looks like there's gonna be character-specific armor, too. Ooh, teleporter? Nice. Always good to have those. Dang, I need this. I need to be able to slide. Something's here. It's not human. A monster? No, wait. I sense no evil from him. Ah, uh, you can sense me. Who are you? A ghost, as you can see. Ghosts have no need for names. Impossible. Somehow he retained his consciousness after dying. It must be the castle's magic. 
I don't know about you, but he sure seems shady to me. Think what you will, it's your choice. However, you can truly destroy me with a whip you can't even use. Only one way to find out. Wait, hold on. How do you know he can't use the vampire killer? Huh? I find it very odd to find a ghost not controlled by the power of Dracula's castle. A smart girl compared to this foolish boy. Just before I died, I cast a magic barrier on myself, binding my soul to this place. Is this supposed to be, uh, like, Julius Belmont or something? I'm free from the castle's control, but I'm trapped here. But a paranormal entity like you can easily be affected by magic. Casting a barrier that repels the castle's power is impossible, even for me. Just who are you? My name is meaningless, but I suppose you need to call me something. Very well, call me Wind. <laughs> wind. It kinda goes hard, not gonna lie. I don't know, he just looks like Julius because of his, like, you know, very western-looking outfit. Mr. Wind. Just Wind is fine. Alright, Wind. What are you doing here? Didn't you just hear him? He's trapped here, remember? I understand that. But if he truly has this much power, he could use other methods besides just binding his spirit here. My, my. You really are a bright little girl, aren't you? Stop treating me like a child. My name's Charlotte. I understand. And who is this boy? Who are you calling a boy? It's Jonathan. Jonathan Morris. Oh, the reason I'm here, simply put, is regret. I'll not rest until the lord of this castle is vanquished. I thought I would lend assistance to those who wish to feed him. But if you can't move from here, what do you intend to do? In spirit form, I'm able to grant items and techniques I once possessed in life. I think they'll be of great help to you. In that case, please help us. No, I've been able to do fine without any of his help so far, so why don't you just... Right, so far, but this is Dracula's castle. Even if you could use that whip, it won't help you when you die. Don't you remember your father? Enough about my father. Just leave this to me, okay? My father's dead. Forget him. Sorry, but still... No, wait, I'm sorry. I guess I got a little overdramatic there. You might be right, Charlotte. Wind, perhaps we could use your help. Would you help us? If you can complete the tasks I give, only then I'll help you. How are things? Preparations? The priest should have some useful things for you in the next room. Get the potions and map. This is your training. The fuck? There's like tutorials? Deal. Let's go, Charlotte. Where am I supposed to go? In this room? Oh, well, well, welcome back. Huh, so you're selling your potions here? Not many now, but my stock will increase little by little. For a price, right? Yes, I'm afraid so, Master Jonathan. Don't try anything shifty, and don't even try to lie. Still, it is true that rural churches are short on money, or so they say. Thank you, you're lifesavers. Anyways, please have a look. Alright, so we got our shop and a save! A save room and a shop in the same room? Alright, so... We can buy, you know, obviously your potions. I'm gonna guess there's a limit on how many you can carry. There, we'll buy potion and the castle map. Wait, duh, of course I'm gonna buy the castle map. Blank book. A book so frightening the words ran away, leaving it blank. These are like really weird, shitty items. Oh, my God, I buy a tail. I could buy a tailcoat though. Sunglasses. Engineer boots. Man, I can't buy. Actually, I could buy sunglasses. Never mind. They don't increase my def. Wait. Oh, they increase Charlotte's defense. And sure. Studded choker. And I'm broke. Oh shit. <laughs> Pearl ring. 
Master Ring? A ring that increases the mastery received. What the hell is mastery? I guess we'll figure that out. A necklace patterned after a beautiful flower. So that's a better accessory for her. Some shurikens. That's pretty dope. Darts. Rock Riot. Dumps rocks onto the enemy. Cool. Uh, probably nothing worth selling, right? Beef Jerky. Heals 29 HP. Why 29 specifically? Oh. Item display. I put items on display for shop mode. Thank you. I don't know what the point of shop mode is, but yeah. Anyways, we got sunglasses. Did you like my sunglasses? Alright, we got a tail coat now. Dope. Well, I did it. I bought the, uh, I bought the things. Now our things. Alright. Excellent. I did it. Lizard tail received. Slide into narrow spaces. Oh. Now you should be able to advance deeper into the castle. If you complete the tasks I give you, I should teach you even more, including magic skills. I may be able to entrust you with other items in the future as well. Sounds good to me. Oh, one more thing. Regarding this castle's lord. You mean Dracula, right? I read books about him. Dracula isn't this castle's lord. What do you mean? That's why they call this Dracula's castle. It is indeed Dracula's castle. However, the castle's lord is a vampire by the name of Brawner. I've heard nothing about that. As one would expect, his identity has been secret for years after all. He infuses magic into paintings to increase his power. You'll undoubtedly come across his paintings in this castle. Search for these paintings. He's using the paintings to make the castle's power his, isn't he? Still, he isn't Dracula after all, so we're safe for now. Be careful, his power grows stronger by the minute. No problem. We won't let, we'll let you be tied down here for long, that's a promise. Trust us, Jonathan might seem unreliable, but he'd never break a promise. Huh, <laughs> that's reassuring. Very well, best of luck to you. Alright then, let's go find those paintings. Yep, I'm a dip. So what is this? We got uh, another pathway. Does he have- actually, question. Does he have any other abilities I can get? Okay, so... It looks like he's going to offer more weird things throughout the course of the game, I assume. So now we can go over here. They speak of paintings. This painting, its power is incredible. Must be one of those paintings. Yeah, you don't say it's a frickin' painting. What do you expect? Without a doubt. Hmm. I got it. Care to share? This painting's function. Bronner is using it to control the power of this castle. Well then, let's hurry up and rip it to shreds. Impossible. Anything we do will be pointless. From what I can tell, based on the theory of curse amplification, this picture is a multi-layer quantum space barrier. A kind of paranormal phenomenon. Yeah, my back is killing me, goddamn, bro. <laughs> oh shit, you know what I just realized? My phone is dying. Oh no, hold on. I hate it when my phone is about to die, bro. Actually, out of curiosity, how does it look at max brightness? Eh, it doesn't look that bad. It's a flat. I got for sure a flashbang, though. Uh, okay, and what's that mean in human language? In short, think of it as a series of walls that surround the magic controlling Dracula's castle. The painting itself is just the outermost wall. As soon as you break it, it'll regenerate. It's unbreakable. Like, diamond is unbreakable. How convenient. So now what? I'll align my magic with the paintings so that we can enter it. That'll be the best way to circumvent the castle's magic. The risk is quite high, though. 
No problem. Come on, what do we have to lose? Okay then, here we go. Ooh. Damn, okay. Mode 7 graphics. So we're in the painting now? The will of the artist is embodied here. Yeah, where the fuck am I? City of Haze. Oh. Another, uh, another paint? Or another warp point. Oh, yeah, I, pro I probably should be destroying these, uh, these lamps, huh? Yeah, get out of here, boy. We're doing okay on health, alright? I mean, we heal every time, so... Is the HP... Like... I'm confused how the HP system works. It's not per... It's, it's just like a shared health bar, right? It looks like when he gets hit, he uses up MP. Clover Tiara. Oh, it, give, it gives, uh, magic. Interesting. Magic defense, I'm guessing? So there are gonna be, like, little mini-dungeons throughout, um, throughout Dracula's castle, then? I mean, if so, that's pretty interesting. Oh yeah, what am I doing? Why am I not destroying more lamps? You gotta get all the moon knee possible. Oh boy, more axe knights. Well, and it doesn't look like having your partner out costs MP. So, I mean, that's one good thing. Man, they really don't make games like this anymore, do they? <laughs> yeah, it does look like, um... It does look like he is taking out of his MP, right? Well, let me only check. Yeah, it does. They, they, they both share a health bar. Yo, we're in the meat zone! Turtle. A plain long dress. Cool. More defense for me is always nice. I mean, I like that they give you the option on who you'd rather main, you know? But hey, I mean, I've never played a magic character in these Castlevania games, so it sounds like fun. Okay, that's definitely for Jonathan. I mean, hey, I'll, I'll level him up anyway. So what was the point of buying that freaking armor then? If I'm just gonna get new armor immediately anyways. Yeah, it, it takes... The thing is, is if your partner gets hit, there's like no repercussions. Because he just gets his health back anyways. Hmm down here. This definitely looks like an area out of Dawn of Sorrow, though. Ooh, look at that big guy. I mean, I could just have my partner do all the work for me. Yeah. Probably should use my magic more often, though. White Corsage. What does that do? Is that an accessory? Corsage of small snowy white flowers. Just, just gives you one defense, yeah. And a save. Man, I don't know why my eyes get so sore when playing these games, bro. Like, it's, it's 8 p.m. I'm not even that tired, but... Dude, my eyes just feel all weird for some reason. I don't know why. I just want to play some Castlevania, bro. Leather Corset. 
Is that better than what I'm wearing? It gives less intelligence, though. I'm assuming intelligence is magic attack, so I want to keep that. Oh yeah, she does not do any damage. But she can do that, and that's pretty good. What does hearts do? Hearts are for your magic meter, right? Yeah. The thing is, there's no, like, number next to the mana, so it's kind of confusing. Yo, what the fuck is this thing? We got a big jellyfish guy? Jellyfish with eyeballs? You know what? Just, you know, just spam, just spam magic. because, you know, obviously he's not made for physical attack anyway. I mean, who cares? Because you're gonna find hearts out in the open anyways, right? Yeah. Well, actually, if anything, right? Getting new weapons for Jonathan is a good idea, because if he's gonna be my partner at all times, I want his damage output to be good. I love the little effect of, like, the hands falling. Why does this look like a previous room that I've been in already? That hit- that is an insanely good hitbox. Bread! Welcome to the bread bank. We sell Castlevania games. A large Scottish blade. Oh man, well the Scottish are cool, we already know that. Dang. These freaking Axe Knights are aggressive as hell in this game. Sandals! What hell do I do with sandals? I don't know, but they give me one defense, so I'll put them on. I feel like I already missed an area. Oh damn, look at him go. Get over you damn imps, or bats, or whatever the hell you are. Or devils. Yeah, go away. Yeah, go away, zombies. Do, um... Do my hearts regenerate when I'm standing still? Or not my, not my hearts, my health, I mean. Man, I am an unstoppable machine right now. Oh, he, he actually hit the Axe Knight through the wall. A leather whip. Is that better than what he has right now? But it does give him more range, so that's always good. And a potion. Do I have any new weapons? Nah, she doesn't have any new weapons. She doesn't get a lot of weapons so far, it seems. Probably more magic, though. Okay, so we can either go down or we can go right. I don't know. I'm gonna go down. I like the variety in different ways you can go. Mark Street. Mode set. Dude, that's just a straight up 3D model. What the fuck? This looks so out of place. <laughs> One thing I'm already noticing about this game is they actually got, like, English actors for this game. Because I noticed in, um... Ari and Dawn, they had, um... They, they just kept the Japanese voices. Which, I mean, I'm cool with that, though. I'm cool with the Japanese voice, but... You know, it is nice they went the extra mile to have English voices, because... I've played quite a few games where... 
they just straight up have, um, like, ja they keep in the Japanese voices and that's it. So, what's, so what am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to have my buddy hit this switch for me? Probably. Hello? That, that didn't go well. Can I have him, uh... Can I have him stay in the minecart, then? No, because he just teleports. Hmm. Is this a trick? Is this a trick question or something? Was there, wasn't there a button to get him to act Partner skill? Hmm. Oh, I mean, I guess I could do that. <laughs> Bro bro's teleporting in and out. More Mode 7 graphics, guys! Call partner to use their skill or magic with our Oh, now we get that. Oh, that is really cool. So now at this point, it's just a matter of who you prefer to play as, really. So that's pretty dope. Yeah, I hear 3D eyeball. <laughs> it's so funny. Just seeing a 3D eye. It, it, it's so, like, high resolution, because I'm upscale. i upscaling the game. So we're still in the City of Haze. Because the, uh, obviously, you know, this is meant to be played on a 240p screen. Since it's the DS is, but I'm playing it, like, almost, like, 720p. Boner. Man, I have so much Mooney when I come out of here. Gale Force. Definitely not a stolen move name. Terror of the Randomies with Raging Winds. And it looks like I can get down there for a free weapon. The Mace. Mmm, a large metal club. How does it- how does it play, actually? Well, that is very slow. That is very slow, but you know what? We'll- we'll stick with it for now. And it says there's a- it says there's something up there. But I don't know how to get up there. Oh well, we'll worry about that later. That's the save room. Let's say hello to the Mode 7 graphics enemy again. I mean, I can literally just smoke most enemies with this. Oh yeah, let me try out my new sub-weapon. Ooh, it's like a little boomerang. Seems a bit more situational than the fire, though. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Don't know how to get up there. That's for later. Wait, actually, no, I can't get up there. Oh, yeah, so if you guys don't know already, I'm going to be playing um, Luigi's Mansion 2 later this month. So... You know, we're gonna finish up the Luigi's Mansion series on the channel, and we're getting, we're going to do another Castlevania game. Yeah, I'm not big on the I'm not big on this. 
I'm gonna switch back to the fire. The, the gale force might be good though for like um, enemies that like to fly really high in the sky. But overall, the fire just seems more useful. <laughs> Oh, yeah, like this enemy. It'd be good for this jellyfish. I mean, I never run out of mana, so... Might as well. Get out of here! Hoopalandi? What is that? A roomy robe with large hang sleeves. Um, it does lower it does lower my magic a bit though, which kind of sucks. Hmm. Yeah, I'll put it on. Yeah, that seems good. Oh, okay. Hello. You just kind of popped out of nowhere. Yeah, here. <laughs> that guy's funny. He's like, hello, and then he just fucking screams. <laughs> yeah, here. I mean, honestly, I'm not gonna bother with these guys. Ooh, Mooney. Thousand bucks, bro. You see, look, he killed it. <laughs> that that scream never gets old, I swear. Look at that, another teleporter. Makes you wonder if I should go back or not. Mm, maybe later. Yes, I leveled up. Alright, let's play, let's play the sound. Yes! Oh! Hang on, oh, you can actually switch with the minus button. Well, let me reopen my soundboard. It's not like when I play the yes! The M. Bison, yes. Nintendo is being evil again. Oh yeah, that is very true. Nintendo just took down um, Ryujinx today. Which is a, a pretty big stinker, honestly. Oops, I actually like, opened two soundboards. Alright. There we go. So I can actually look at my stats on the bottom screen. So levels are shared between characters, it looks like. So, thank god for that, man. If there's one, if there's one praise, I can give the, um, I forget, what is the frickin' name of the collection? Castlevania Collection. Oh, the Dominus Collection, yeah. Not the Anniversary Collection, that's the, those are the NES games, I think. Yeah, the Dominus Collection. So, if there's one thing I can credit the Dominus Collection for... It's the fact that they have both the stats and map on the same screen. That's the one good thing I can say about that collection. So you don't have to switch with the minus button every time. Because, I mean, that's about it, really. But you're also missing out on touch control. So, I mean, that's kind of hit or miss, really. Well, we are already at our first boss. We gotta... We got a knight thing? Oh, I'm out of magic already. Oh, I'm dying. Eat the beef jerky. I need to- I need to call him back. Oh, he's blocking.
I might be cooked here. Fuck. <laughs> wow. That's that that's a hardcore game over screen. Look at that. Damn, I got smoked by that boss. Oh. <laughs> there's my uh there's my pa smug pack, man. I'm gonna be seeing that every time I die. That's pretty funny. Okay, so it looks like it says 70%, so I'm 70% done the uh the city of haze. So should I try and solo the boss then? Maybe. Cause your partner uses magic when you when they take when she take or they get hit basically. Oh my god, he does so much fucking damage, bro. <laughs> to be fair, I am playing, you know, the magic character, who is typically more of a glass cannon. But you know what? That actually makes the game more fun. Because if I had to guess, um... Justin probably doesn't take as much damage. Or not Justin, <laughs> Jonathan. Well, I think his name was jo Justin Morris. Yeah, that's his name now. Okay, off to a great start. Alright, let's watch out. Oh. Okay, I was not ready for that. Eat the beef jerky. Oh, he's dead. He gone. Oh, okay, so I mean, he didn't take that long to die, but he did hit pretty hard. Oh, that monster just now seemed to be the core of this magic energy. Meaning Brawner can't use the castle's power now? No, not quite. His control of the castle's power has decreased a bit, but... Decreased a bit. I think there's something else. Oh, we got this lady from the opening cutscene, which I had to see like 20 times. Hold on, let me take a drink. My oh my. I knew I smelled something. Seems like some maggots got inside. <laughs> well, be glad. Very, very careful how you say that word. You know, I don't want to add a funny F to the start of that. A vampire. My, my, such attitude. You dare disrespect somebody of my caliber. I am a lady. Lady Loretta. As you said, your battle just now may have weakened us a bit. However, I do have some tragic news for you. This wasn't the only one of my father's paintings. I know that. I can obviously tell by sensing the movement of the magical energy. <laughs> What an amusing sight. A child who fancies herself an adult. <laughs> Damn, you don't wanna- don't, don't piss off the lady, come on. Let's take her, Charlotte. Right with you. Uh, the whip. Jonathan, what are you doing? Unfortunately, I have strict orders from father not to fight you. Now if you'll excuse me... Why did you stop attacking? It was like some strange power was... Uh, never mind. I'm sure it was nothing. I probably just imagined it. Sorry. Oh well. Like that vampire said, I sensed other paintings. I can't pinpoint their exact location, though. Dang it, we need painting GPS now. <laughs> we'll just have to find them. Let's head back to the castle. Do I have to? What does this do? Is this a teleporter? Oh, don't, don't, yeah, don't head back, bro. Acrobat cube. Spring off partner's shoulder to jump again in midair. I don't think that was the greatest example. 
What do you mean spring off? Oh. Wait a minute. How do I do that? So I can... <laughs> Wait, hang, hang on a second. <laughs> See, you're telling me I can gimp my own partner. That's hilarious. We may have value of the cows. There's like clearly more to be seen here. Yeah, I love. I can. I can. I can give my partner for extra height. That's probably going to be used for something. Well, if there's seven. If I need to do seventy percent of this castle, Al. Oh, here's here's a here's a good example of where to use it. But these stupid devils are in the way, man. So I got a cape. Can I wear the cape? No, but he can. Actually, never mind. I think I think it's like an accessory. Why the fuck is this an accessory? Okay, I will take it though. Change co-op mode. What do you mean, change co-op mode? Dual crush? Huh, interesting. Change headgear. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm wearing the Clover TR right now. Alright, seems good. Uh-oh. I did not mean to fall down all the way there, man. Take the fight to these damn devils, man. Hmm, what do we have up here? Sunglasses? Okay, that is a dead end. So now I have thick glasses. It gives me three intelligence. Hell yeah. More magic attack. Okay, here's go. Do 26. Yeah, that's that's a big upgrade. Oh man, that th these armor knights don't stand a chance now. Ow. <laughs> okay, the skeleton just decided to come down here. Rick, hang on. I know how to get up there. If this damn devil will leave me alone. There we go. We got Moonwalkers. <laughs> that is a fantastic name. A boots that enhance the ability to dash backwards. I mean, am I really? I mean, I'm. I barely even remember that the frickin' um. I barely remember that exists. I guess we can give them to Jonathan then, because <laughs> why not? Cool. Okay. So should we go up or should we go left? Let's go left for now. Jellyfish. Thing is, I don't really. There's a lot of different ways to go. Nope. Oh, that's a dead end. Okay. Nothing! So, th this is probably the way forward, so let me go back. Yeah, MP refills so damn fast. Yeah, okay, here. I mean, that guy may look dangerous, but he's not that bad. Ooh, I got a falchion. Hell yeah, that's gotta be good. How good is it? It's basically just the claymore. Oh, an axe. <laughs> um, okay. How's the axe control? It's another over-the-head weapon. I mean, it does more damage, and since I'm already using a slow-as-balls weapon anyways, I guess it doesn't matter much, does it? Get out of the way, boy. 
I'm just gonna ignore that jellyfish. This is not Bikini Bottom. I like how this is optional, by the way. <laughs> I don't know, but let me, let me call my buddy over here. Velvet Ribbon. Sounds cute. Should I put it on? Um, oh no, it lowers my, def my intelligence by a lot, though. I mean, that's basically magic attack right there. Um, sure. Burn. I'm curious to see which of these songs will end up sticking in my head once I'm done with the game. While pushing an object, call your partner to help you push. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Oh. Well, yeah, because now we can go down here. Ten bucks! Wait a minute, we've been down here. Oh, that's why we couldn't go in here before. Okay, so that's what this is all about. Yeah, here. Man, there's a lot of different relics in this game. I'm pretty, pretty happy about that. That is a lot of freaking nice, Jesus. Look at all that stuff. Con boost, boost con temporarily. What is Connie? I, I, I don't even remember what con freaking does in this game, man. Yeah. Hey, it's an ability. Is is it, maybe I can look at the guide for that. Um, skills. Master. We need master with 0 out of 300. Boost con temporarily. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what con is, even. Wait, hey, we got a bestiary. You can attack enemies with physical or magical attacks. When an enemy takes damage and flashes blue, it means the attack had little effect. That's good to know, so matching the right attack to the right enemy is the key to success. Wow. An abnormal status penalty doesn't seem to affect your partner. So, by switching part players, you can let the unharmed one take up the slack. This is just, um... There's just some, like, fun little, like, trivia to help you get better at the game. Fighting as a pair is reassuring, but some attacks just can't be avoided. If that ever happens, you need to be brave enough to fight alone. I mean, I did do that, actually. Hey, your magic's weaker than I thought, isn't it? Well, excuse me. If I have enough time to recite an aria, my magic will be stronger. As the gauge builds up higher and higher, the power will increase. Wait, so your magic is stronger the more magic you have? Or is that just, like, fluff dialogue? Hmm. Maybe that is true. Well, let's go use the teleporter, and we're gonna warp back to the start. And we're gonna go finish up this area. Because it's not me, it's not playing a me, it's not me playing a Castlevania game if I don't go and try to 100% the map. <laughs> Look at that skeleton ready to throw hands. Yeah, die weird bird up thing. Weird bird up thing. Knowing my ass, I missed like a save point or a warp or something over here. 
But I'm, I'm checking because I want to be thorough because I missed something. There's a fun room. One dollar. I mean, yeah, you are supposed to technically be using the, um... The backwards dash to get out of the way of, of attacks, but I end up just like moving away instead. <laughs> I mean, it feels like it's stronger when she has max magic. And obviously, that knife does nothing against this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that scream is so funny. I mean, hey, I guess it can never hurt to get a bit of extra money and experience, right? So, I never went down here. There's some- there's a pathway down here to the right. Oh! Rush. A basic combination where both Par partners take turns attacking. Press up and X to use. Consumes MP on use. Oh! What? What is that? Oh, are those like super moves? Oh, okay, I see. Man, I gotta use that against the boss. Jeez. I came back for that. I think that's almost everything. I'm just gonna go check out what that last spot on the map is all about. See, isn't it worth coming back to get that? Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to go this way. If I'm not mistaken, I believe Vine Sauce has played all the Castlevania games. At least all the GBA... Actually, no, he hasn't. He hasn't played all the GBA ones, but I think he's played all the DS ones. And it kind of inspired me to, um... Kind of what inspired me to play the DS ones, because I know he played them. At the very least, I know he did Order of Ecclesia recently. Well, not recently, but he's done it. Alright, let's see what we got over here. Alright, like, sure, just damage boost, I guess. Okay, I need to know, what's to the right here? Can I even get down there? Yeah, I can. So I just dead ass just didn't go right. But there's something over here, clearly. A whole, a whole separate area I never went to, apparently. Like a warp. You see, I knew I was missing a warp. <laughs> Ooh, enamel pin heels. Uh, shiny enamel pin heels, okay. Just sandals, but cooler. Because, you know, heels. And we got another rush. Summon lightning in the shape of a cross. Dude, so I just deadass missed out on two, like, freaking abilities. I mean, I'll try and do them. <laughs> what is that enemy? I need to know. He's hilarious. Zacchino, a stylish and sociable demon who is quite attentive to the ladies. That is an amazing enemy. Mini Devil, okay. Fornius, Peeping Eye, Andras, Dolahan, a beheaded knight who carries his severed head. Hmm. Zombies look freaking weird in this game, man. Alright, now we can teleport back out. I don't think we can get to that one area at the very end. 
But, hey, at least they have a warp point for that later. So, is, is, um, is Portrait of Ruin gonna be, like, Mario 64? Where, like, you just go into paintings and you go to, like, separate worlds? Because that's kind of... I find that idea kind of funny, honestly. The music here is pretty chill. Uh, do you have anything new for me? What would you like to do? Supersonic punch. Go to the butcher in town and punch some meat to get ground meat. Where's the butcher? I'll make you a deal. Um, oh, we could buy anti venom. Those are gonna be useful, I'd say. Uncurse. Yeah, I got those two. Castle map two. Oh my god, there's a lot more of this map than I thought. Base lard, brass knuckles. Ah, oh, combat fatigues. I can't buy it though. Sad. Wow, they got a freaking silk hat. Morning veil. I could buy that actually. That does increase my magic defense and the normal defense. That might be worth it. Engineering boots, combat boots, dang. Actually, I might be able to buy those. Hold up. Where is that? Oh yeah, right, I was wearing that. Morning Veil, yeah. Let me wear that. And I'm gonna sell some of my stuff. Alright, go to the very bottom, this is where all of our BS is. Alright, we could probably sell this. Um, sell the Moonwalkers. Actually, no, isn't he moving? Damn, the Moonwalkers sell for a lot. Yep. Um, don't need the Velvet Ribbon anymore. Uh, the Sunglasses. The Leather Corset. Don't need that. Or that. Okay, we can probably get rid of the claymore, the short sword. The leather whip. <laughs> what happens if you sell the map? Do you just lose access to the map or something? Alright, I'm gonna get me the, uh, the combat boots. I mean, well, let me look at what else there is. Uh, I mean, there is also this. Yeah, what is Khan? I don't remember. Kunai. Oh, yeah, the. the oh, yeah, I can buy, um, Ice Neal. Launch cutting shards of ice. I'm not sure I'll buy that. But I need to sell something else if I want the combat boots. Sell the Falchion. We don't need that. Or the Mace. There, I think we can afford it now. Don't want to be carrying around like 15 frickin' weapons. Because I'm probably not going to use them. Thank you. There we go. Alright. Buy pin heels. Hello combat boots. Because look at that increase. Well, hang on. There's attack and strength. Like, attack and strength are two different things. <laughs> I'm looking this up because this is going to bother me. What is Khan in Castlevania? Because I forget every frickin' time. Um... Constitution. It increases defense. Oh... So it's a defense-increasing thing. So it's weird. It's, like, the Castlevania game is, games are weird because they have two different defense stats. They have defense and then constitution, which is also part of your stat, your defense. And I'm guessing strength is a little part of attack. 
which is just really weird in general. I think I might get how it works. Like, defense and attack are just for, like, general attack and defense. But then, like, con is for, like, physical defense, and mind is for, like, ma is for magic defense, specifically. I don't know, it's, it's really confusing. Yeah, I hear you funny enemies. How long have I been going for? An hour and a half. Ugh, I swear if my mind wasn't such a blank, I'd play more of this. Like, sometimes I just want to lay down and, you know, just chill. Oh, wait. We've been here before. But the funny skeletons, they don't really do anything now, do they? Oh yeah, so we can get up here now. Oh, footstool. That's the term I was looking for. Uh, let's see. Whip skill. After attacking with the whip, press hold Y to let it drop. Oh, we're just getting all kinds of stuff, aren't we? Let's try out the ice needle. Spear. Oh, I accidentally- I accidentally sold all of his armor. <laughs> Whoops. Eh, hey, we'll find better stuff for him, whatever, right? Is the spear any good? I mean, not bad. Wait, there's a boss here. Uh, I should probably save first, then. Maybe I'll, I'll see if I can solo the boss, then. Well, I need, I need him to get up here. There you go. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can solo the boss. Oh, it's this thing again. That's not bad. Bad, bad, bad idea. Also, we're in, like, the Coliseum or something. Bad touch. Damn. I was probably supposed to jump over him. Hmm. I'll, I'll wait to use my potion. What are you gonna do, sir? Yeah, bad touch again. <laughs> yeah, oh, 80 HP, okay. A very specific number. Alright, approach me. Alright, is he gonna go above me now, or what? Nope, he's spitting hamburger at me. Approach me. <laughs> God, I'm so bad at predicting this guy's patterns, man. What was the button to, um... Oh yeah, I was up and like... Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and then I got hit. There we go, I dodged it that time. It's 
spitting hamburger again. I mean, bro really just, he really just really loves his hamburger. Bro, really? That hit me? <laughs> Okay, now I'm getting the tells. Are you gonna approach me again? Ow, I'm taking too much damage. Got him. He gone. Yeah. Alright, let's go save after that. <laughs> yeah, the backwards slide really isn't that fast like it was in Symphony. There you go. Yeah, I will have my partner out for, like, the overworld, probably, but for bosses, I might just fight it by myself, because it's gonna be... The AI is probably gonna screw me over a lot. I mean, I don't know. You never know. Can we really not push that? Huh. Weird. It looks like we can push that, but I guess not. We got a new area. The Buried Chamber. Damn, okay. Okay, your skeleton man. Frickin' boners. Yeah, why did I get rid of my partner anyway? <laughs> I thought I had him out, and then I somehow put him away. Get out of here. I mean, it could be get over here, depending on how you feel that day. So we either go right, or we go uh, left. We got an anti-venom. What is that? What is that item? I want it. No, come back, come back. No, I want- I, I thought it was like an acorn or something. These damn boners, bro. Ooh, what's that? A stance that emphasizes offense. Wait, I have stances now? Wait, what's a stance? Offensive form. Oh. Yeah, okay, the chick kicked out of me. As if anything, I need to go buy more potions now, because I ran out. Probably do that, but I don't know where the next- I don't know where the nearest, um... I don't know where the nearest, like, warp is. Hopefully soon. Okay, we need to get to a save point. So I am in major danger right now. The unfortunate thing is there's no, um, there's no saves, like, anywhere nearby.
Oh, so I have like a long range magic attack now, actually. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go save real quick. I might need to go to, uh, shop. The problem is there's only one shop in this place. And I can't get over there either. So I'm gonna get my ass over to the shop then. Well, here's the thing, right? If I end the stream now, I, I'm not gonna have anything to do for the rest of the night. Because I ain't doing anything. Like, all I all I do is watch Sailor Moon for a few hours, probably. Although I am, speaking of which, I am getting pretty close to finishing Sailor Moon, though. Or at least, uh, Season 2, I should say. Alright. I guess in theory you could, um... We could just, actually, hang on, I have a better idea. What am I doing? I can just do this now. <laughs> I don't need to have him stay there. Also, is there nothing uh, up here? I don't think we can get up there until later. I kind of like these Ikel Shards, because they're kind of like a shield. And that's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know where the Butcher is, but... We'll figure out. Alright, how many... I can only buy two potions. Man, potions are expensive. Unless there's something I can sell. I could sell the axe now. I need all the money I can get. Mmm. Oh yeah, sell the pin heels. I can't even buy. I, I can't even buy another uh, another one of these. Is there something that sells her cheap? I guess an anti venom potion. Cause I kind of I kind of want potions. There. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He's like he's like Beetle. Not what I imagine sounding like, but then again, I don't know what he sounds like. <laughs> um. Also, how have I never been up here? Could have gone this way earlier. Display the names of enemies when you attack them. Oh wow, no brainer. Could have had that way frickin' earlier, man. Why? Well, can we go back to the starting area then? There might be something I can do there now. Yeah, let's go down here. Oops. Oh, nice. And it is nice to be able to, um... See enemy names. It's like a staple, really. Oh, we can definitely we can definitely not get up there. But I don't think I ever went down here. Okay, there's not there's nothing down here anyway. So in true Castlevania fashion, there's always some stupid secret in like the very first room of the game that you end up having to come back for. Just because of the fact that, like, oops, you don't have the high jump ability yet. Right, uh, Sailor Moon. Um, I'm on season two right now. I'm on, like, episode, like, 37. And there's, like, 43 episodes. So I only have, like, six or seven more episodes until I'm done Sailor Moon R. And then after that, um, you know, then I can watch Sailor Moon Super... What is it called? Super R? Or no, I think it's say no, I think it goes Sailor Moon S. 
and then Sailor Moon Super S, and then Sailor Moon Sailor Stars. The, the, the naming conventions are kind of weird, but whatever. <laughs> and then, depending on how I feel, I may or may not watch Sailor Moon Crystal, but I heard that Crystal is literally just like an abridged version of the regular Sailor Moon. With like a dip by like a different a animation team and stuff, and different OST, so it's gonna have like a completely different vibe. It's mostly Sailor Moon in name, <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm glad I'm just I'm glad I'm not watching that first because probably wouldn't have been able to enjoy it as much. Yeah, these frickin- okay, these ice crystals are actually really damn good. <laughs> I might keep these for a while. Unless I find something better. Uh, good to know the AI is not very bright. Mudman! Yeah, I basically just have, like, a shield. And the great thing is that the shield, it lingers, which is amazing. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, but which way do we go? I'm gonna take top route first. Just gonna get my shield ready. Usually the golem is like a boss, but here it's just a random ass enemy. Inuit boots? Hello? Okay, my game froze. What the fuck? What the hell happened there? I collect the Inuit boots and then the game crashed. What the fuck was that all about? I mean, I didn't lose too much progress, thankfully. 105%? Oh. That was very strange. I guess the game doesn't want me to have those Inuit boots, then. Weird. I mean, to be fair, I do have a, um, a potentially, uh, I don't even know what you'd call it, like an unheadered version of the game or something. I don't know. This is a, apparently this is the European version of this game, the one that I have. And, um, I don't know. Don't know if there's, don't know if there's bugs or what, but we'll see, I guess. Just there's no saves, like, at all, for like a mile radius. Sometimes that happens in these games. Sometimes you just there's like just like long stretches without any um without any like saves. I mean worst case scenario, I can always make my own saves. Uh if I remember what button it was. Oh yeah, it's shift and F1. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to abuse, you know, the save states, only if I have to. Like, only if the, if the game it crashes or something. Which didn't even cross my mind that that could be a problem. I don't know what I did. I don't even, I, I don't even know. I kind of... I kind of refuse to believe that that even happened. <laughs> the fact that the game just crashed there. Yeah, she is right though. When the enemy flashes blue like that, it means the attack's not very effective against them. Although that is kind of um, hard to see. 
Okay, let me go up here again. So, am I not allowed to, you know, am I not allowed to, um, pause in this screen or something? I don't know. I don't even know what the percentage of those boots dropping are. Save point, maybe? Ah, oh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> we're, ma we're making progress. <laughs> Frickin' bats, man. Okay, so if we go down here, this is um, an optional path. This is an alternate pathway. That looks really weird. <laughs> it's not supposed to look like that, is it? <laughs> that, looks that looks really freaking weird. Oh, Cestus. I could give him that. Never mind, it sucks. <laughs> I mean, in general, you're going to want to keep your distance. That is a weird enemy. He's taking advantage of the Mode 7 graphics again. What is that enemy that I'm finding? Frozen Shade. Invisible Man? A magician who gained invisibility, but gave up his soul in return. Uh, I'm still, uh, still not sure he's supposed to do that. That looked, that looked a little strange. You know, these funny, oh, these funny spinning log platforms. There we go. Go down here. Get some free Moony, because Moony's always good. <laughs> Let's go this way first. Because we get a warp! Finally, a good warp room. I mean, and the orange rooms are painting rooms, then. Can I go in there? No. We got a funny dragon. Ow, he's kind of hurting me. Damn, bro's really aggressive. Bone dragon. He's getting erased. Okay, I'm save it. I need to go save after that. That guy, that guy kind of wrecked me. Can I, uh... I can't footstool him from down here. I can't believe I forgot what footstooling was. I, I just call it, like, gimp. <laughs> Which is not what that... I mean, it is kind of true, but I forgot that's called footstooling. Okay, now there's mermen here. You know, just, just go all out on that bat. <laughs> Mermen. Oh, he got the funny slime. Yo, he's using Mo7 graphics to his advantage. <laughs> See, it's funny, it's funny the kinds of things you can do with a sprite. This isn't going 
going that well. Yeah, I hear. Any funny drops? Dang, I'm not getting those boots now. That's pretty lame. Yeah, yeah, I hear. If that is intentional, then, um, I don't know. <laughs> Somehow I feel like the slime's gonna drop on top of me. Oh, yeah, he sure did. Okay. Well, I learned I learned another thing. You can't uh you can't dash while ducking. Oh, you really do not do that much damage to those slimes. You really gotta use magic on them. I guess you could say it's slime time. Now it's slime time. See, I've never played um I've never played Luigi's Mansion 2 before. So I think that'll be a, a pretty fun experience. And uh you know it's pretty good timing that they released the um you know the, 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 the port for it on Switch recently, so I can just play that version instead of having to emulate a crappy version on, uh, you know, Citra or something. Uh, somehow I feel like there's something good over here. Oh, it's the Invisible Man again. Bandana. He's one of those potions. Alright, who can wear the bandana? I think he can. It gives him plus one in everything. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, we have no accessories right now. Yeah, that, that offensive form is pretty good. Just being able to, like, buff your attack for a while is pretty decent. And over here we got Ice Fang. Summon a sharp fang-like pillar of ice. We got more magic to you mess around with. Ooh, that's not bad either. I mean, for close range combat, that's pretty good. Ow. Frickin' bats, bro. <laughs> I just want to, um, not get hit. <laughs> oh my god, those are these are the Medusa heads of this game, bro, I'm telling you. Jonathan, why'd you move out of the way, bro? I was about the footstool. If I can even get up there. This this sucks. <laughs> I can I can I feel like I can get that. But I'm getting hit by the bats too much. Shit. Oh, so close, jeez. There. We got the copper plate. Which I think she can wear? No, only he can wear that. Well, he has the armor now, though. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I keep falling, damn it. And these bats aren't helping. They don't even give any experience. They're just there to be annoying and add knockback. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. Great stairway.
He's telling me it has two hitboxes at a time? Yo, I love these skeletons. Those skeletons from Symphony where they just hang up against the wall. They're like, what's up, dude? Yo, is that death? I thought you would appear. The one who imposes upon my master. He's swirling with black magic. I've read about him. Dracula's eternal servant, death. Dracula isn't this castle's master anymore. Why are you here? My, what an odd thing to say. This castle belongs to Lord Dracula. To him and no one else. I get it. You've joined forces with Bronner because you're thinking of resurrecting Dracula, aren't you? Bronner, who are you talking about? There's no point in playing dumb. We already know the current master of this castle is a vampire by the name of Bronner. Vampire Bronner. Even with my master, or power, I didn't sense that. It seems I've been dormant for far too long. Don't tell me you didn't know. Well, it doesn't matter. You're connected to Dracula. That makes you my enemy. You're no match for me. Your father was much stronger than you, and now he's dead. Don't compare to me to my father. Calm down, Jonathan. You can't beat him without a strategy. Oh, and to think he needs a little child to admonish him. Sorry, Charlotte. Whenever someone mentions my father, I just lose it. That's alright. It's not like you started hating your father just now. But what's the point in getting angry at someone who isn't even here? It's because he's not here. Listen, my father only taught me the basics of fighting. Then he went and got himself killed. Leaving me the heir to the whip. This whip I can't even use. He was always so selfish. There must have been a reason. You have to understand the truth of why you're, you've had to fight until now without my, the whip's power. Maybe so. But now Dracula may be reviving, and I can't even use the power that I'm meant to use. Even though my father could. That's true, but... Enough with all this talk about my father. Talking won't change a thing. Come on, let's go. When death makes an appearance, Dracula can't be far away. Yeah, you're right. Wow, look at the rate I've cleared already, 116%. It, what, is the what is the true percentage in this game, then? Like, a thousand? Seems pretty interesting. Yo, F-Zero GP Legend is coming to Switch! Actual W, Nintendo. Not just GP Legend, but Climax, too. That means we have almost every F-Zero game on the Switch now, except for F-Zero GX. Maybe Nintendo is planning something. I don't know, just saying. You know, Ninten Nintendo doesn't have a lot of Ws, but this is one of the rare cases. Oh, we got the maids, the maid enemies. It's so weird hearing them with English voices. Oh my god, they got the suck vacuum! Dude, I love the suck vacuum. That was like one of my favorite abilities. Yeah, the, the maze that like, you know, like to throw hands. <laughs> okay, so this will create up a shortcut, I believe. Can I really not push this? The fuck is the point of this block then? I thought it'd be nice to make a shortcut, but oh. guess not. Uh oh. Can I not get up here? Uh oh. I think I need to go to the right, actually. I must be for later. Almost thought I almost thought I had to go back or something, but no, I can go right.
Yeah, kill the maids. Ooh. Hang on. Let me save after getting that. What does that do? Y'all give me five. It gives me four in defense and five in mine? Yeah, let's go. That's a good draw. I got a second one. Damn, okay. Yeah, bye, maids. Actually, what are these enemies called? I thought I have the... Oh, you know what? Oh, dude, I'm stupid. In this, uh... I don't have the relic that lets me see enemy names. I must have... Dude, my game crashed before I before I saved that. Ow. Hold on, let me, uh... Ow. Let me go, let me go get that again, real quick. I was wondering, like, why the fuck are the enemy names not showing up? Man, it makes a lot more sense now. I guess while I'm here, I could buy more potions, too. Display the names of enemies, yes. I need that. And, yeah, let's just go to the shop, because, you know, everything's here in one spot. You're back. Where the fuck is the butcher? Do I need to go to, like... The t Do I need to go back to that town? I'll make you a deal. Hmm. Yep, sure, buy two more potions. Thank you. Let's save. Yeah, I don't know what Butchery's talking about, but I'm gonna go, um... I'm gonna go back to the town, maybe, and see. Let's see. Mode 7 graphics. Is, where's the butcher at then? <laughs> you know what? Um before I do before I do anything stupid, let me look this up. Uh Portrait of Ruin Butcher. What what does that mean? Where do I need to go exactly? Uh, it says, go to the city of Hayes and head to the room in the top left corner, which contains a butchery. Oh, that room. I know, I know that room. Let me do that. See, I had a feeling I had to come back here. Huh, makes a lot more sense now. Yeah, Ice Fang's not bad. What am I supposed to do here? I mean, obviously you can punch it. So what's the point of all this? Is there something else I'm missing with this? Um... Punch the meat with Jonathan's bare hands to turn them into ground meat. Why- why specifically his bare hands? Am I supposed to take- take it off? What the actual fuck? That is kinda cryptic. And also, I think I got meat. I got meat as an item. And made minced meat. It heals me, too. Wait, can I just grind meat here, then? I think I can. Oh, no, it just drops hearts from now on. Oh, 
Okay. Well, I'll put the spear back on. I mean, I guess I got I got a healing item out of it, so I'd say it was worth it. Also, since I've tried one of the rush skills, let's try out Holy Lightning. That applies for both. Oh no, it depends actually. Be cool if you could like combine abilities. Here, let's just get some money while we're here. You can never have too much. I mean, unless you're getting one dollar a piece, which isn't that worth it. Ow. I mean, it feels like you're getting more money than you actually are. Like, you get, like, like dude, like, dude, they got a hundred bucks. But in actuality, it's not that much. How are things? So now I have supersonic punch. Well done. We got bullet punch. Hey, I man, at least I completed the quest. Uh, enables the wearer to throw punches at the speed of sound. You know what? Try it out. <laughs> That's stupid, but I sure I'll I'll wear it. I thought it was gonna be like you know, anime fight punch where he's like he throws out his fist like ten times per second. You know. All right, the teleporter. You know, surprisingly, I'm not as tired as I was earlier. I don't know how that works. I don't know. Actually, no, it does make sense. <laughs> I get less tired by, you know, playing more. Actually, no, that doesn't make sense. Made. Persephone. <laughs> The name of the maids. Some of them, and some of them have uh, vacuums, <laughs> which is pretty raw. Who's letting all the maids in this castle run about? Oh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I keep going back and forth on like what my favorite weapons are, but Ice Fang is pretty damn good, I gotta say. Ooh, is that a new weapon? Does Charlotte finally have a new weapon? Yeah, we have the Dawn. Uh, I, I'm not even gonna bother trying to pronounce that. <laughs> the story of a man who thought himself a gallant knight. So I just I can just spawn a horse now. Cool. How long have I been going for now? Oh damn, the time passed. A lot. The last time I complained about being too tired, it was like an hour and like thirty, and now it's like two hours and thirteen. Crazy. Alright, I got another boss. Caramet. Okay, uh, clearly this weapon isn't good against this guy. Gale Force might not be bad here, actually. Ooh. Look at that. Here, let's see his, uh... Use my tonic. I don't even think that hits him. Oh, that, that can, that can hit him. Well, on that point, just use the ice fang. Or not the ice fang, just use the ice needles from here. Huh. I got rid of one of my accessories, I think. The 
He's not gonna come out. I don't think he's gonna come out unless we hit his pot. That kind of sucks. Get him. Get his ass. I'm doing some damage to him. Thirteen at a time. <laughs> he just keeps punching the pot. That's pretty funny. Yeah, keep punching the pot, that'll do you good. This is really the entire boss. You know this guy remi this guy kinda reminds me of the potted ghost from Yoshi's Island. Why does the meat heal? Oh, not bad, it's like 60 health. Ow. Yeah, just, <laughs> just keep punching the pot. He's gonna take a long time to kill. When will bro die? At this rate, it's better just to use my ultimates, I think. Yeah, that seems to be doing the best damage. Alright. This boss is gonna take a sec. Come on, bro. Anytime now. Got him. <laughs> there we go. He gone. Yes. All right. Let's go back and save them. I'm trying. I'm trying to play while drinking. <laughs> Uh, should I keep going? Yeah, you know what? We could maybe do like one more boss, get to the next save point, who knows. Maybe I'll stop at 10. 10 might be a good place to stop. Ooh, another cube. Yay, we can double jump now! Finally! Wait, what is that? I want that. Partisan. Oh, that's a, that's an iconic weapon. Uh, damn, twenty three attack. It's a long range spear. Oh, we got the this thing, the thing that turns you into stone. Bro, bros, frozen in stone. He's still stone. Oh, I have to break him out. Okay. Hmm. This is a dead end, so let's go this way first. You got a gun. 
Iron leggings. Those are those are for him, I guess. Yeah, sure. Leggings made of steel. Wait, all the secret. It's like a witch with a gun or something. More money. So now my weapon has a bigger hitbox, which is pretty dope. Uh, skeleton Archer. Yeah, let's go over here. Mimic? Yep. Freaking know it. Those mimics are strong. Man, the amount of English voice lines in this game is kind of wild, actually. Man, quit using the vacuum on me. Get out of here with your freaking vacuum ass. Actually, how many paintings are there in this game? There's not as many as I thought there would be. Yeah, here, maid. Even though I like me maids, you can't be having maids throwing hands. In the castle. Okay. Oh, there's the next world. And oh, a warp. Nice. You know what? Then let's do um. Let's do uh, a. Let's do the next painting then. And then maybe we can end it. I don't know. We'll see. I think, um, I think the paintings were just an excuse to have more, like, diverse environments, honestly. Sandy Grave. Yeah, because, like, when the fuck has there ever been a desert in a Castlevania game? Never. <laughs> At least I don't think so. So, yeah, by doing this, we can have, uh, we can have deserts in Castlevania now. Let's get rid of these frickin' mummies. Oh. So it looks like, uh, those, like, special, those, like, super attacks, they require, like, 80% of your mana. Oh, these mummies are really annoying. I'm gonna skip them. <laughs> Devil Wheel. That's a pretty dope enemy. Yeah, let's use a potion. I only have two, so I gotta be careful. Oh, sandworm jump scare. <laughs> yeah, this is how we do this is how we do this. Sandworm's gonna take a while to kill, I think. Damn, okay. Come on, Sandworm, any time now, you can die. There. Get out of here. He gone. Blood Skeleton! Oh, Red Skeleton. Those are the ones that resurrect, I'm pretty sure. We got a Steel Whip! Is that better than what he has right now? It's longer range in the Partisan, I think. So we can go right, or we can go up in this room. I'll definitely take the save. Also, I didn't I didn't point it out yet, but like she pulls out a broom when she double jumps. That's cute. I like that.
I mean, what does what what is, what is Jonathan do? He probably just, like, bounces off the air or something. I don't think that- oh, well, there's something up there, actually. But the question is, can I even get up there? The, uh, the game says no. So you get- you can actually do some crazy jumps in this game, because you can do this. But that still doesn't get me high enough. Man, <laughs> now now Castlevania is falling victim to a uh, Mario syndrome, where like you just gotta have a desert level. Oh, I didn't I didn't get cursed by hitting that guy, did I? Gosh, I hope not. Dang, which way is the right way? I guess we'll never know. This almost seems like the correct way. Oh well, we just pick a way and we go the other way later, I guess. Oh, it's the the lady with the weird Queen Metroid thing for the body. Oh, I guess that's everything there is to this room. Moony? Oh, there's, um, like, laser traps. What is the diamond? Is that an accessory? Woo! Damn, five defense. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, in typical, uh, in typical desert fashion, the tombs have a crap ton of traps in them. What's this room all about? Dead ass, there's a frickin' pharaoh in here. Summon ghost. Summon a ghost to use in battle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip that pharaoh, honestly. Who says I have to fight the enemies? Oh, it's this thing. Dragon Zombie. Yeah, he gone. I think uh, the top path was the long way to go, because this is going on for a while. <laughs> well rip. Oh, it's these things. The Quetzalcoatls, I think they're called. No, it's White Dragon. Quetzalcoatl is a different enemy, I think. So I could summon a ghost to fight for me in battle. Alright, what we got up here? I don't know. Damn, that guy reaches very far. How the fuck am I gonna get past this dude? Wait, that's a mana... That's a mana prism. Or whatever they're called. I'm about to die, bro. I gotta use my potion. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's a max HP up upgrade. I didn't know those were in this game. Oh, I can't get up there. <laughs> He's taking a lot of damage. Probably withdraw him then. I can't go in there, can I? Yeah, 
Yeah, screw you, Mimic. You can't defeat me when I have cheese at my side. Hi, Potion. That's much appreciated. Oh no, the frickin' flea men are here. Ooh, level up, nice. There's so- oh my god, there's so many damn enemies in here. Okay, I'm definitely cursed right now. Yeah, curse. There we go. Yeah, don't touch, don't touch the ectoplasm. Those are bad for you. I just want to know what's over here, bro. Which way is the right way to go? <laughs> well, don't stand there, bro. I'm gonna go up then, because there's something up here. Oh, those flea men are as annoying as ever. Hmm. Oh, cutscene time. <laughs> Who the fuck? Who the fuck are you? Hello, I'm a bit surprised to find you inside my painting. You must be Brawner. How dare you! Show my father some respect! Calm yourself, Stella. What could they possibly know about respect? They're just humans, after all. Indeed, I am Brawner, master of this castle. Are you trying to revive Dracula? What the hell are you up to? Hmm, <laughs> Dracula, you say? Sister, watching these fools get worked up can be so entertaining. It seems you have no intention of reviving Dracula. Why is it necessary to revive Lord Dracula? In the last few centuries, he's failed at controlling humanity. I'll wait no longer. For the sake of my beloved daughters, I will take this world from mankind. Humans bring death and ruin to everything of beauty. If you're not after Dracula, then why is the castle been resurrected? Lord Dracula's power is great. I recognize that. And through this castle, that power will allow the world to be reborn. You only want to use Dracula's power? But it shouldn't be possible to separate Dracula from his magic. Oh, but it is. What a clever young lady. So long as I possess the power of the painting, I'll have no trouble at all. Father, you need not waste your time on such insolent pests. What did you say? Allow me to demonstrate how utterly pathetic they are. Well, no need to be hasty, dear. At the moment Dracula's faithful servant is sniffing around my castle, disposing of him is our first priority. But father... You two have nothing to worry about. Please retire to a safe place and get some rest. <laughs> Bye. You heard me. We can dispose of this trash at any time. <laughs> he just warps out with the frickin' painting. That's amazing. Brawner, huh? He's incredible power. Just the sight of him could drive an ornate person mad. Yeah, it would have been messy. If only I could use that whip. Like, at least we're alive. Yeah, but I'll make him regret ever crossing paths with us. Funny cutscene. I need a, I need a, I need a save point anytime soon, you know? I mean, I think I have one more potion. Oh my god, that's a lot of skeletons. Yeah, here. <laughs> okay, we're outside now. There's gonna be another sandworm in there, yep. Come on, Don, and do something.
Fuck. That hurts. Do I have to play this safe, then? I guess we gotta play this safe. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how safe that is, necessarily. Yeah, don't get too close. Okay, fuck you, Jonathan. Get out of here. You're wasting my MP, bro. No drops? Corpse weed. I remember this thing. What's this? Bognock. A handheld weapon whose name means tiger claw. Not sure, put it on put it on. When I'm running out of health again. I have one potion actually. We can use it. I mean the other route would be up here somewhere. Did I just buy a secret? I might have found a secret, I don't know. Unless this is the correct way. Which it could be, ow. Bro, stop. Let me go the other way to find out. Blind skull. Oh, I can totally get up there, hold on. Yeah! A throwing knife used by the Baka people. Sure, we could equip that on him. So this is the way forward. No, no save point in like a long time, bro. Hey, watch out for the, the wheel. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> Knew it was coming. There's another one. Jesus. Oh, oh fuck. Uh, don't do that. Watch out for these falling things. Yo, what is that? Is it cheese? Pumpkin pie? Mmm. Oh, there's more maids, dude. Where that? Where in the hell is the save point at, man? Is it up here? I mean, there's a crystal necktie or necklet. There we go, okay. Thank god. Look how look how much progress I would have lost. Hmm. This is probably better than the cape, right? Yeah. A necklace can tank pure cold winter air. Well first I got first I got pumpkin pie and then I get, you know, winter. Pumpkins don't grow in the winter, silly. Okay, that's- you probably fall from down there later. <laughs> Get out of here, maid! Ooh, yeah, that is some good damage. There we go. Killed that frickin' pharaoh. And we got a warp, too. Even better. Should we go back and get more items, then? Maybe we should. I think we're close to a warp? I could be wrong, though. Oh, yeah, we are.
I mean, just because there's only like one, like, just because there's only one, um, like, cop in the whole game, you know, you gotta make use of it. We have Ghosts of the Desert. There's a room in which many ghosts gather. Defeat the Great Ghost. Go defeat ten hill guards. Have I done that before? Do I even know what a hill guard is? Uh, hill guard. I don't think I've seen a hill guard before. But anyway, we might as well do it now. Alright, I need more potions. I'm gonna buy, like, eight of them. There we go. I could buy tonic, too, I guess. Yay, pumpkin pie. A flavorful autumn favorite. Yummy. Now it makes me want that. I'll get rid of the whip. Well, we can sell the Tome of Arms now. We can sell the spear. Sell that. Why does it sell for so much? Yeah, they sell for a lot, actually. Um, I probably don't need this anymore. I, I have two frilly cami souls. Um, let me look at my let me look at my armor. Wait, we have four frilly cami souls. What the fuck? When did I get that many? All right, what is uh, what is Jonathan wearing? He's got the copper plate, the bandana. Okay, so we don't need the thick glasses anymore. Those are those are old news. Wow, Diane Rich sells for a lot. Um, uh, combat boots are still wearing. Nuns, nuns habit. Nah, we don't need that. Morning veil, which we're wearing right now. Bandana, we're wearing. Headguard, we don't need. Thick glass, we don't need. Sell three of these. Man, I just got like fifteen hundred bucks. That's pretty damn good. Oh wait, I didn't mean to sell my potions. Oh, you could have nine potions. I thought it was ten, but yeah, nine also makes sense. And well, you know what? Then let's buy uh, let's buy some tonics. And then what can we even buy that's good at this point? Um, there's Rock Riot. Buy for the completion. There's Kunai. Shuriken, forget me not. Holy Mantle. That's not bad. What does the Pearl Ring even do? <laughs> Silent Sandals. You telling me those are better than the combat boots? And then also, um... I think that's it. Thank you. See, now we have a lot of money. Which is pretty damn great. And you know, we'll make a save state too, just in case. I'm kind of curious about something. Uh, can I... Since I have a double jump now... Can I go back to the entrance? Yeah, punch that zombie. Oh. He doesn't have a weapon on. I think I gave him the, the dragon claw. Hey, what the fuck did I just get? I got something. I don't know what I just got, though. Oh, summon skeleton. So, actually... In a way... This game is kind of like, um... They're kind of borrowing some of the shit from Dawn of Sorrow, actually. Which is pretty neat. Uh, like how you just get, like, random souls and stuff. Alright, so can I get up here now? Oh, so close. 
I can almost get up there, bro. Hmm. Yeah, just so close to being to being able to get up there. Hmm. Oh well, it was worth a try, I guess. Hey, I filled out more of the map though. I love the I love the majestic run cycles of all the Castlevania characters. Like, Symphony onwards. They all have, like, the exact same run cycle. But, man, does it look nice. <laughs> you know? Actually, I feel like I can explore a bit more of the castle now that I have the double jump. Let me try out a few more things. I got Summon Skeleton again. Yeah, there's this up here. Oh, I can get up here now. Hillguard. Hey, Hillguard, these are the guys we need to kill. I guess because... I guess that unlocks since I have the ability to come up here. Liliths. Am I poisoned? Oh my god, I am. God damn it. Laurel Brooch. Is that any good? Um... Nope. Is it a accessory, though, that you can get? And there's just a Lilith chilling there. Yeah, kill, kill this guy. So I need to kill ten of those guys. Flying Skull. So I'm not even going to the dungeon at this point. I'm just like screwing around. Oh, okay. There's just dead ass a new area here. I I'll worry about that later. I just wanted to fill out the map here. Larva. Yeah, apparently that's Larva. So can I push this? We still can't push wherever the fuck this is. I don't know. And uh, whatever this is, I can't jump over there. Because the ceiling pushes me downwards. Yeah, I can't do that. So, that we'll have to wait for later, I guess. We have these funny enemies. Yeah, get out of here. Okay, and this takes me to- oh, shit. Yo, what's this guy? Great armor. Cla a classic enemy. Who also does a lot of damage. He gone. Knee Strike. A jumping knee strike inspired by legendary martial artists. Well, that's pretty damn cool, actually. I'm fine. Those guys aren't that bad. Yeah, so much for being the invisible man, huh? <laughs> You're not really that invisible. Well, if anybody's watching, let me know if uh, that... Let me know if that effect also happens on... Um, if it also happens on the 
Dominus collection. I'm kind of curious. Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna... I'm gonna kill, like, a bunch of these guys. Uh, that's, that's four. Five. Six. Well, that shit doesn't hit him. <laughs> Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Is there a uh, quests? Um, go defeat ten hill guards. Yeah. Okay. So, if it's green, it it means the quest is complete. So we are done with that. Now we can go back. So they, they did ass put side quests in my Castlevania game now. Oh, I still can't I still can't get up there. I still need to push this over. Alright, let's speed this up a little bit. There we go. The more I listen to this music, though, the more of it I find. The more I find it a vibe, honestly. Okay, well, I did say I would stop at ten, so let's accept this quest. Let's 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 trade in this quest and uh, go save. Whip skill two. Is that like something I equip or what? Where is whip skill to? Is that, is that just a relic or something? While jumping, use down and Y to attack diagonally downward. Oh, neat. Alright, I need to buy a potion because I lost one. Alright. I think we can call it here. Uh, I mean, my, my ass is itchy, for one. And two, uh, I would like to probably go for the night and maybe watch some Sailor Moon before I go to bed. <laughs> I like how you see my Mario blanket. Like, Mario. You know, Mario is just, you know, it's like, Hello! Hello, I'm, a, I'm in blanket form. Oh, yeah! Alright. Well, I am going to be obviously playing a lot more of this throughout the week. I'm just gonna play it whenever I have free time, I guess. I don't know. Either way, I'm enjoying this game, so... You know, damn well, I'm gonna be playing more of it. Because, you know... Nothing wrong with a, ca a good Castlevania Metroidvania game. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, see you guys in the next episode.